you first. First Bank. Thanks a lot, Melinda, and welcome to Business News. The federal government has made good its promise to sell down the government's equity assets in some companies jointly owned by the private sector. And this was reflected in the regulatory approval of the listed uh, planned listing of introduction of 1.35 billion shares of Skyway Aviation Handling Company Sakol on the Nigerian Stock Exchange on November the 12th. At the same time, the ground handling subsidiary of Cyfax Group plans to offer a total of 406.07 million ordinary shares at 4 naira 65 copper per share through an initial public offering. Sakol, which was formerly known as Skypower Aviation Handling Company Limited, was carved out of the liquidated Nigeria Airways Limited as part of Nigerian Federal Ministry of Aviation's reform of 1996 before it was privatized and handed over to the Cyfix Group on December the 23rd, 2009. Nigeria's Vice President, Professor Yemiya Shibajo, has been speaking and taking the trade money initiative around some markets in Lagos to help create some awareness for the scheme. Professor Shibajo was accompanied by the Governor of Lagos State, Akiwumi Ambode, the All Progressives Party Governorship flag bearer in the state, Jide Sawolu, as well as other top government officials as they visited the K2 Bariga and Oshodi markets. Bearish sentiments dominated a better part of trading today at the Nigerian Stock Exchange at the close of trade, following a combination of induced profit taking and even lower volume of transactions. Let's hear more from Tenny National. <laughs> And welcome to the stock market report. Stocks performance at the local equities market ended Monday's trading session with a negative start for the first full week of November, following renewed sell pressure by short-term investors. The All Share Index dropped by 0.28%, while the equities capitalization fell by 28 billion naira as profit taken swept across four key sectors of the NSE. As third quarter earnings season slowly wraps up, investors' appetite for stocks opens the week slightly low of a total turnover of 157.83 million shares sold in over 3,100 transactions, largely driven by the shares of Access Bank, FCMB and GT Bank. Top on a list of 16 gainers are the share prices of Cadbury, UACN and Presco, while cement company of Northern Nigeria, Northern Nigeria Flour Mills and Prestige Assurance led 21 other losers. And that's the Stock Market Report. I'm Teniola Shoboeli. Thank you, Tanya Lau. It's a positive start of the week for stocks in Wall Street as markets react to $1 million buyback in the shares of a Berkshire Hathaway by its major investors. Let's see the numbers for today. That's business news for tonight. Thank you for watching. I'm Anne Owawodo. It's back to you, Melinda. You first. First bank. Many thanks, Anne. Still ahead on the news at 10. Injury knocked Super Eagles first choice goalkeeper Francis Zor out of the 2019 African Cup of Nations qualifier against South Africa. That's on sports news. Stay with us. It's morning in Africa, and spirits are high as the continent prepares to move yet another million tons of goods to markets across the seas. Four time zones, a million opportunities, and vibrant young professionals 100 million strong. It's morning in Africa. One bank is opening the door to endless opportunities. With seamless pan-African payment and trade solutions, presence in Europe, Asia, and the Middle East, we are Africa's gateway to the world. Access Bank. Speed. Service. Security. Who am I? I'm a caregiver. A slayer. A boss lady. A 
foodie. I am the chief quality inspector and chief organizer. And when I'm cooking with my Maggie star, I become a kitchen grand master. Every day, you choose to make the difference. That's why you choose Maggie Star, made from natural soya beans and other carefully selected ingredients to help you cook the difference. I am the chief enjoyment officer and I'm the magnet that brings my family together. Need I say more? <laughs> but best of all, I love what I do. With Maggie, cook the difference. Every new day deserves a great taste for a great start with Nest Coffee 3 in 1. It all starts with a Nest Coffee. You, you are beautiful, intelligent, strong, determined, dauntless, talented, extraordinary, unique, innovative. Aging gracefully, aging in comfort, whoever, wherever, whenever. We are here to enable you to be you. Stambic IBTC, moving forward. Goalkeeper Francis Ozoho will not be in South Africa. Olumide will be telling us why. This Melinda and that's true he will not be available for that match and that's because he's been ruled out of the November 17th AFCON qualifier against South Africa through injury and will be replaced by Ayimba goalkeeper Theophilus Afelahai. Zoho revealed in social media he will be out for four weeks and bemoaned the timing of the injury which he picked up during a La Liga 2 match on Sunday. The 20-year-old has been Nigeria's first choice since the 2018 FIFA World Cup in Russia, where he played all three group games. He also was in goal for the last three AFCON qualifiers against Seychelles and the doubleheader against Libya. Super Falcons coach Thomas Danaby has named a squad of 23 players, which includes Ashishat Shaola, Desire Paranose, and Ngozi Okobi for the final phase of camping in Abidjan, ahead of the 2018 Africa Women's Cup of Nations. The team, which has been camping in Ekbe for the past few weeks, will travel to the Ivorian capital on Tuesday morning to intensify preparations for their title defense in Ghana. They're expected to play a couple of friendly matches before Danube unveils his final squad of 21 players that will travel to Cape Coast four days to their Group B opener against Bayana Bayana of South Africa. Staying with football, Charles Amakaro scored a late penalty to give Bendel Insurance of Benin a 2-1 win over shooting stars of Ibadan in a rescheduled game in the Nigerian National League. The highly anticipated encounter was concluded today at the University of Benin Sports Complex after the game was postponed due to bad weather. The win gave Insurance the needed three points to top through B1. Coach Baldwin Bazoaye could not contain his excitement at the final whistle. Meanwhile, shooting stars coach Edith Agoye is disappointed at the result, having taken an early lead in the game. Agoye believes the players gave their best, but they did, just could not find the mental strength to hold on. Finally, and in tennis, Rafael Nadal has, been pulled, has pulled out of the ATP World Tour Finals with an abdominal injury. Nadal, who hoped to feature in the season finale after withdrawing from last week's Paris Masters with the same problem in a statement released via his Twitter handle, confirmed he will not be traveling to London and will also use the opportunity to undergo season-ending ankle surgery. John Isner will take Nadal's place, while the Spaniard's absence also ensures Novak Djokovic will end the season as world number one. That's it on Sports News. Melinda is back now with the rest of the news at 10. Thank you, Obumide. 
Iran's President Hassan Rouhani has vowed to break sanctions imposed by the United States and it will affect oil exports, shipping and banks and also make it difficult to do business with the oil-rich nation. The Trump administration is restoring all sanctions lifted under the 2015 nuclear deal in a bid to put pressure on Iran, but the President Hassan Rouhani is striking a defiant tone saying Iran will continue selling oil. Dozens of people are feared to have been kidnapped from a school in the west of Cameroon. Military sources say at least 79 people were abducted in Bamena by armed gunmen this morning. Cameroon's northwest and southwest regions have been hit by a separatist rebellion in recent years. Militias who have been demanding the breakaway of the two English-speaking regions have called for a school boycott. However, no group has claimed responsibility for the incident. And Tewa Savage has now become Africa's best act at the 2018 MTV Europe Music Awards. Mayawa will be telling us more about that on Entertainment News. Many thanks. Yeah, top stories on entertainment. Maven Records song Stress Tiwa Savage has won the 2018 MTV Europe Music Award in the Best African Act category. The Nigerian crooner joined other top international celebrities to walk the prestigious MTV red carpet before the event and later picked up the prize for the Best African Act at the ceremony which held in Bilbao, Spain. Tiwa was nominated alongside fellow Nigerian act David Adeleke, popular as David O, South Africa's Destruction Boys, and Shekina, Kenya's Inyashinsky, and Fali Pupa from the DRC. Meanwhile, former five-star music singer, songwriter, and performer Harry Song has gotten his mojo back as he performed in Lagos for the first time since giving fans a suicide scare. The singer premiered his new single, Report Card, with a live performance to a group of fans in Lagos, Southwest Nigeria. And finally tonight, late comic actor and filmmaker Moses Olaya, popularly known as Babasala, is celebrated at the monthly True Nollywood Story event as his movie Obeg will not screen to young and emerging filmmakers. The movie, which was recorded many decades ago, show a side of the dexterous actor and producer to filmmakers who were probably too young to have experienced the works of the veteran at the time it was created. Babasala died on the 7th of October 2018 in his hometown, Elisha, Oshun State. And that's it for me. Thanks for watching. The main news returns shortly. It's Iowa. And the main news again. The tripartite committee meeting today failed to reach consensus over new minimum wage. The chairman of the committee, Ms. Amma Purple, however suggested that the amounts proposed by both organized labor and the federal government be submitted to President Muhammadu Buhari. Also today, the Academic Staff Union of Universities embarked on a nationwide strike, although ASU chapters of some universities refused to join in the industrial action. And Iran's President Hassan Rouhani today vowed to break sanctions reimposed by the United States. And that's the news at 10 tonight. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Melinda Akinwami.